In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Windows 10 Start menu and Tiles. When you click the Start button, you see a combination of what was available in Windows 10, Windows 8, and uh, got morphed a little bit uh, when Windows 10 was introduced. So this is the classic Start menu. Uh, you see the list of all the applications, uh, which starts with recently added applications. And then in alphabetical order, based on each letter, it shows you what's installed on your computer. Now, some applications, as you can see, they have this arrow to the right, and which means that this is a folder and applications underneath of this error, uh, actual applications that you would need to click that are located in that particular folder. Here on the left, there is a section um, that shows you different functions, frequently used functions that are available. For example, the user ID for, that I'm using to record this video called Video Recording, and uh, this button shows you that you can switch between different users in your computer. You can expand this view of the start uh, and switch between the users. This is what this first button is for. You can access documents uh, for the given user, access pictures, or access settings um, available uh, to you as a Windows 10 user. You can also obviously shut down, uh, power off, and there are different options for sleep, shut down, and restart of the computer. On the right, uh, it's a tiles menu, which is useful for touchscreen devices, and there are three categories for the tiles, uh, create, play, and explore. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's especially useful for the users that um, using the touchscreen devices. As you can see, Tiles is Microsoft's invention, and uh, they are very useful if you don't just use the mouse, but use rather touchscreen because they're bigger and much easier to click. Now let's look at the Tiles section on the Start menu. So in Tiles section, you see Tiles, and as you can see, they're organized by groups, and Tiles are of the different size. If you right-click on the tile, you have different options that are available. You can unpin from Start, which will remove it. Uh, not the app itself, but it will just unpin and it will not show up. That's what pinning means. You can resize it, and there are four different sizes available. This is the medium size of the square. You can do a small size. Uh, you can also resize and make a wide size. And you can make a large size. Those are four different sizes that are available. I'm going to return it back to the medium size as it was, and as you can see, it fits nicely. And if I drag and drop tiles, um, especially if they match with the uh, space available, uh, you can organize them uh, very nicely on your desktop. Each tile app, most of them also have uh, additional settings, like for weather app. Uh, so you can go and go into the app settings. You can some tiles are live tiles, like for example, weather might show you the live weather based on your region selection, and you can configure it in settings. And you have some other additional options that are available. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline, and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.